We are going to make fried spring roll um, stuffing today and we're going to start off with um, about two tablespoons of vegetable oil in your frying pan and this is pretty hot it's been on forever while I was chopping um, all the other stuff so here's your fresh minced garlic I need to turn the heat up a little bit okay and you bring your garlic to like a golden tone smells so good and once it's golden brown you put in your ground meat in this case I'm using ground turkey I think it tastes better but you can use ground beef so now that the um, garlic is golden brown you're ready to put in the meat all right and you're gonna stir this and break the meat apart as fine as possible. You don't want it clumpy. So I'll be doing this for the next two, three minutes. And I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video. I apologize for the steam. It looks like I'm burning down my house, but I'm really not. <laughs> You'll have to trust me with that one. But while I'm breaking down the meat into small pieces, it's like 80% cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and add the chicken bouillon. It's about a couple teaspoons. And then a couple teaspoons of salt. And a couple of teaspoons of palm sugar. Or you could use regular sugar. And a couple of teaspoons of fish sauce. Or less, it looked like it was less. but. I don't want it too salty, so I can always add more, but I can't take it back. So I think it'll be sufficient. And black pepper, probably like a half of a teaspoon, not too much. Now that the turkey is pretty much almost completely finished um, cooking, I can go ahead and add my vegetables. And you can throw it all in at one time. The cabbage, the shiitake mushroom, and my hands are kind of burning right now, it's hot from the steam. And there you go. You don't have to add this much vegetable, but I love the combination of these three. The cabbage, the sweet carrots, and the um, tasty shiitake mushrooms. I love the combo. So, if I was to guess how much cabbage is about two and a half to three cups of shredded cabbage, um, a cup and a half to two cups of shredded carrots, and a cup of shredded shiitake mushroom, if I was to guess, if I don't really measure anything. But um, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's up to your preference, whatever you like. You know, you can add anything or take anything out. I can turn the heat down a little bit. The heat is on medium. And I'm going to just mix it really well. It's so pretty. I don't know if you can see it. Colorful and fresh. Alright. So fresh. I love it. Eat fresh, eat colors, so you can stay colorful. <laughs> Just my philosophy. <laughs> you are what you eat. That's what we learned in um, fifth grade at Madela Elementary School, Tammy Screws. She was my best friend in um, fifth grade and sixth grade. So that's what we learned in our cafeteria. You are what you eat. <laughs> So eat lots of colors and eat lots of green so you'll stay green and colorful all the days of your life. <laughs> I wish. Now you can add your bean sprouts. This is probably a little bit much. And these bean sprouts are kind of fat for my liking, but that's all they have. And they're kind of long. This is alright. Bean sprouts are really yummy in my opinion. I've made the spring roll mixes both. Um, with and without and I've always found 
that um, the bean sprouts make to taste better. I just like it a lot better. So, but these are really fat and long. I wish they were a little bit skinnier and shorter, but that's all right. You can actually cut them in half. And look at this. Oh my goodness, that's ridiculous. So, I should have just cut them in half, but I didn't realize some of them were like a tree, a little mini tree. Anyways, it's all right. We shall eat them and it'll go down the same way as all the other veggies. There won't be any problem there. Look at this one. My goodness. These bean sprouts are on like steroid or something. Let's see. I'm getting so hot with all this steam. Hmm. So we're going to cook it for another um, two minutes. I'm going to pause the video because I'm going to cut the noodles into shorter pieces. This is kind of long. Um, so I'm going to cut it into shorter pieces and then throw it in there. So here's my spring roll mixed with the clear glass noodles or bean thread noodles. I cut them into halves so that it wouldn't be so long like my bean sprout. And the mix is pretty much cooked. So I actually can turn it off in just a minute. I want the bean sprout to cook a little bit longer. So another minute. And then after I turn it off, I can just stir it around really thoroughly and then taste it to see if I want to add um, anything else to it like salt, sugar, black pepper and just tweak it to the way I think is um, perfect. So I'm going to turn that off. Everything is pretty much cooked. Then I'm going to put the green onions. Love these fresh green onions. It smells so good. Isn't it pretty? Look, fresh, healthy, well, besides the deep frying part aspect of it. But, um, oh my gosh, I wish you can smell what I'm smelling. The green onions is just so oh, powerful and just, it smells delicious. That's all I can say. Just by looking at it, I can tell that I personally would want a teeny bit more black pepper. You don't have to, you don't need it, um, but it's just something about a little bit of black pepper that, you know, makes all the difference in the world. Maybe that's just, you know, in my mind, but anyways, it's beautiful. Look at that. You can eat, uh, you can eat, well you can eat it now if you want, <laughs> but um, you can add the um, three fried eggs later after this. What I do is um, scramble the eggs and then fry it up in a frying pan, a separate frying pan, and then um, like a, an omelet. And then I would chop it up into tiny pieces and then throw it on top of that, mix it all together, and it just adds another dimension of flavor which is really yummy. So that's pretty much it for the spring roll mix. And you just have to wait till it's completely cool before you try rolling it um, in these spring roll uh, wrappers. So you can go back to the old video from two weeks ago of the ingredients and the type of wrappers that I use. Um, it's still on my YouTube channel, King's Race. 777. All right. Let me know if you guys are making this and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.